going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under. Today we have some absolutely massive news about Kai Soto and his new team. So currently the NBL season just finished and free agency and trade talks are all open at the moment in the NBL. We already know Kai Soto signed with Adelaide 36ers and we already know that he's due any minute now to fly into Adelaide to get hooping. But the Adelaide 36ers are making moves to support Kai Soto and he's going to be really, really good and he's going to really benefit from these new players. So the first and biggest sign in the 36ers have made with Kai Soto is Majavi King. Majavi King is coming from the Cairns Taipans who is also on a next star contract and had an alright season for the Cairns. Pens. If you're already familiar with Josh Giddy, Majavi King was meant to be in the same boat as Josh Giddy as being that superstars lottery pick. Majavi had a very average first rookie season in the NBL and was very disappointing. There was a lot of problems with management because they didn't play him enough, especially at the end of the season when their season didn't matter. Majavi still didn't get many minutes and when he finally did get a few minutes he had like 25 points one game and actually balled out. He's a superstar in the makings and he certainly got his eyes set on that 2022 NBA draft lottery like Kai Soto. I really think that him and Kai Soto are really going to team up for a really good dynamic duo. So let me tell you a bit about Majavi King's game, just so you get a bit familiar with him. He's a 3 and D type player, but he's also quite athletic, so you're going to find him in transition for that big dunk to fire up the crowd. He's also going to create some really good defensive opportunities, so he's going to cause some fast breaks as well for Kai to get out on that break, get a few easy dunks for that 7-3 beast. Hold on a second, he ain't 7'3 anymore, he's 7'4, the man's grown, what the hell? But Majavi King's a real scorer, which is really good because it's going to take the pressure off Kai Soto on offense. When all the attention is on Majavi King on the wing, Kai Soto's going to be able to go for those pick and rolls and get those post looks and get a few buckets, it's going to be really good to see. Another really big addition to the Adelaide 36ers for the four star recruit of Kai Soto is Mitch McCarron. Mitch McCarron is coming off an NBL Finals Championship with the Melbourne United. Mitch McCarron is an established veteran in the NBL and he's been absolutely dishing some crazy dimes in the NBL. I've been watching him a hell of a lot at United and he really knows how to facilitate and create for others. He's got some beautiful look away passes and he really knows how to find the person in transition. Mitch McCarron is going to really, really help Kai Soto. We all saw what Josh Giddy did with Isaac Humphries at the Adelaide 36ers and really made do with the pick and roll. Like that duo, Mitch McCarron and Kai Soto are going to be unstoppable. Mitch McCarron really knows how to use a pick and roll and really knows how to find his big man, so they're going to look really good together as a dynamic duo as well. With this addition of Mitch McCarron, Kai Soto should find himself with an extra few points a game because he really knows how to dish those dimes. Adelaide has also re-signed big man Isaac Humphries. Now you can look at that as two ways. Is that good or is that bad? Personally, I think that's really good because Kai Soto might be the center or the power foot on the team, but Isaac Humphries can do the same. Yes, it might potentially take minutes and looks off Kai Soto, but it'll also help on offense because not all the attention will be on Kai Soto, but also on Isaac Humphries, who's a real bucket. Isaac Humphries was elected on the AT man roster for the Tokyo Olympic Games for Australia, but then ended up declining. Personally, I think he wasn't going to make the team, and I think he knew that. That's why he pulled out. But that's just showing he's a really good player as he could make the Australian national team. So Kai Soto is looking to be the highest pick in the draft that he could possibly be. With Majavi King also joining the Adelaide 36ers, that's even better for both their draft stock. Instead of NBA scouts having to spread their load and watching certain teams, they can watch two potential NBA lottery picks on the same team, at the same time, at the same game, at the same stadium, everywhere is the exact same because they're on the same team. So hopefully that should see both players draft stock go through the roof for that 2022 NBA draft. If we look at the Adelaide 36ers, what else can they add to their squad to make them even stronger and more of a threat for the season? They need imports. Each team's allowed three imports per season and Adelaide, I don't think they've signed any just yet. What they really need is a strong wing. They had Brandon Paul last year and if he signs on, that could be really good for Adelaide. He's a really good defensive player that could really create opportunities on the break for Kai Soto and Majavi King. They could also do with signing a point guard as well. If you sign a really strong point guard in the NBL, that really does help. Bryce Cotton for the Perth Wildcats is the greatest import of all time, in my opinion. He's a serious bucket. I don't know why he's not in the NBA. And he's been killing it for Perth. Why am I talking about him? Because import point guards absolutely dominate in the NBL. So if Adelaide signs himself a really strong point guard that is an import from the US who really knows how to dish dimes and get to the rim, it'll help Kai Soto because they'll be able to dish dimes and create for them. And for 
Manjavi King. Here we have to drive and kick and kick it to Manjavi on the wing for that nice easy three. We all saw Kai Soto absolutely balling out in the Asia Cup qualifiers and he was doing really well. He was holding his own against grown men. He's a big boy so we shouldn't really have any concern about him in the grown man's league. He certainly does look like he's put on a bit of muscle and he doesn't look too slow. He was running up the court pretty well during that cup qualifiers. It's a bit of a shame that he didn't get to play more games for that team but he does have to prepare for his next season because that ultimately will increase his draft stock the most. He also does seem like he's really nice and committed to the team which is awesome to see. Personally, the thing that I really would like to see Kai really work on and take his game to the next level is developing that really strong, consistent three-point shot. He already has decent passing for a big man. He's got some nice post moves, but his three-pointer could really do with a little leverage on his opposition. Personally, if I was training him before the next NBL season starts, I would like to see him really work on that three ball. He doesn't need to shoot it at 55% because no one is. He just needs to shoot it at about 35% to really take his game to that next level. That's going to create a lot of opportunities for him because he can't just be left open on the three-point line. The defense will have to play up on him, and then he can just drive around for an easy dunk. Honestly, Adelaide's new signings are Majavi King, Kai Soto, Mitch McCarron, and Isaac Humphrey's re-signing is absolutely huge. That is four solid players that they're going to get, and they're really going to improve their record for last season. I reckon there's a chance that they could make finals this year, and Kai Soto could lead the way. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I'll catch you later.